welcome to Snowmobiler TV. Today we bring you a very special program, STV's exclusive coverage of the Kane's Quest Endurance Challenge from Labrador. It is known as the world's toughest snowmobile endurance race for good reason. The two-man teams will head out for over 2,500 kilometers in the uncharted backcountry on terrain that is absolutely nasty for five days of hell riding. It's exhausting, dangerous, exhilarating, and some might say crazy. And we have it all here for you on STV. It's all good, so let's roll. STV is sponsored by Yamaha Four Stroke Snowmobiles. Why do you, Yamaha? By G Max Helmets. There's a G Max for everyone. And by Ski Doo. Better rides, better riders. In 1534, Jacques Cartier described the coast of Labrador as the land God gave to Cain, alluding to Genesis 4 in which Cain, having killed his brother, is condemned to till the land that is barren. At first glance, this may seem like a fitting description of Labrador. For generations, Labradorians have traveled throughout the big land to trap and hunt, and to gather supplies and provisions. In the 19th century, the famous American author, John James Audubon, called Labrador the most extensive and dreariest wilderness he'd ever seen. Today, for those who think they have the spirit and are brave enough to challenge this land called Cain, there is a contest that is exciting, challenging, and grueling in the extreme. A true test to the human spirit in the Labrador wild. One that serves as a tribute to the men and women who walked this land before us. It is called Kane's Quest, and it is known as the toughest snowmobile endurance challenge in the world. Kane's Quest began in 2006, with 15 teams racing from Labrador City to Churchill Falls and back again. This 1,200 kilometer race would set the stage for what has now become the longest snowmobile race of its kind in Canada and the toughest anywhere. The Cage Quest Snowmobile Endurance Race is a 2,300 plus kilometer contest that takes competitors on a course through some of the toughest, most rugged and breathtakingly beautiful terrain found anywhere on the planet. For those who dare, the challenge begins in Labrador City where racers complete their final preparations get processed as good to go and ready themselves for the green light that leads them into the backcountry and the remotest regions of eastern Canada. Unfortunately, the Kane's Quest 2010 race had to be cancelled due to some tough weather that made conditions unsafe for racers who would travel out on the sea ice. This cancellation was sad news for the good folks on the northeast coast in Postville, Makovic and other villages under the Nunatsiavit government who all went to a lot of hard work to welcome the teams at their checkpoints. Not wanting to risk two years of bad ice, a new route was created for 2011. As if 2,300 kilometers of nastiness wasn't enough, this year would see a new twist added to the competition. Along with a new race route, the teams must now pull a sleigh to accommodate the extra fuel required for them to traverse the long stretches of land where there is no fuel accessible along the race course. Pulling a sleigh combined with this terrain was definitely something that was no minor adjustment. Hauling of sleigh changed up a bit. Uh, it's going to add a little more endurance to it. It's going to slow them down a bit. Uh, they're going to have some more, some additional problems with some of the sleighs, I'm sure. Uh, they're going to drop those sleighs at Sail Lake, and its pace is going to pick up. So, uh, you know, some will say, you know, the race is going to start at Sail, but you know, it starts here, and uh, first one in Sail is going to be. Uh, is going to be, have an advantage. So, but you know what? Ever since we started this thing, uh, we've seen teams way out in front by hours, and uh, just all of a sudden changes up. So, it's anybody's game. Doesn't matter. It's not over till it's over. Well, it's something that neither of us have done before, or nobody's done before. I haven't pulled any sleighs either, but uh, we've tested the sleighs pretty good. We've got a pretty good, uh, pretty good speed. Small sleighs, light pull. Don't burn any fuel. 
we're we're ready. We're ready. Uh, what I see, the other sleighs, I mean, uh, we got as good as anyone else. A lot of people are taking uh, taking it for granted, the fact that uh, you're pulling the sleigh. It is going to make a difference. A lot of people are going to take chances, probably not thinking about the sleigh behind, you know, and the competitive edge, you know, comes out with two guys running down the lake, and you don't think what you're dragging, and, and then, you, it's, it's, you know, I've been up there, and it's a hell of a terrain, as rocky as you can imagine, and uh, it's, it'll take a toll out of your equipment if you're not careful. It's such vast country you know we're talking you know six seven eight hundred kilometers up one way a thousand kilometers down the other way and we were up there a couple weeks ago and we lost the suspension in a super wide up there it was 600 kilometers from churchill falls and there's no help it's saturday race day everyone gathers at the staging area the teams have done all they can do to be ready for what lays ahead now it's up to man and machine at this point, everyone believes they have a shot at winning. But given some previous race results, many will be satisfied with just finishing. Messing with things right off the hop, it's wet and mild at the start line. Not the ideal conditions. We prefer to have it a little bit colder, but uh, I'm sure the racers are there tough and they can handle the situation regardless. As I was joking around this morning at one of the teams, I said, it looks like we're going to postpone it. And after a few curses, he said, no, this is going, we're going. <laughs> so they're ready to go. They're pumped up, been pumped up for a while now. It's only a little bit of snow, it's Labrador weather, uh, and hey, it's, it's endurance. So we just didn't expect endurance to start at the start banner. So, <laughs> As competitors leave the start line in two minute intervals, the race is off and running. When we come back, it doesn't take long before the big land takes a nasty bite out of some of the teams.